group. There you go. Folks, if you are watching on YouTube as well as on Facebook, you are most welcome. I'm Father Marshall Shelley here to offer Noonday Devotions. Um, as I say every time that you can use these Noonday Devotions whenever, uh, whatever day you wish, there is a small rotation of Psalms and readings. Um, and they are efficacious in every event. So just pick one and go with it. That's great. We're glad you are using them. You don't just have to wait for them on Wednesdays. You can use them throughout the week and every day of the week. However, this day is a little bit different. Um, we are remembering Maria of Paris, Maria Skobotsva, Skobotsva, Skobotsova. Sorry, I practiced that three or four times. I still got it wrong. Um, and uh, she was an amazing saint of the mid 20th century. Uh, born in, to, a, to a noble Russian family and uh, through a series of amazing circumstances, which I will encourage you to check out the Wikipedia uh, section on her name to learn more about her, uh, wound up in Paris as a nun and was taking care of people, particularly Jews who were fugitives and refugees from the Nazis and eventually dying in a concentration camp. Um, you're going to hear a meditation prayer uh, poem from her that she wrote in 1942. Uh, this was on the uh, day that the uh, German High Command mandated that all, sh all Jews should wear the yellow Star of David uh, visible on their clothing. So you'll hear that read at a certain point. I chose Psalm 119 particularly um, in how we are called upon to throw our trust on God and to invest in the relationship that we have with our creator over and against any power of this world, uh, particularly those which seek to corrupt and destroy the creatures of God. So we will remember Maria uh, of Paris today and uh, move on into our noonday devotions. Welcome. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for Psalm 119, the portion listed on the page before you. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. Oh, excuse me for a moment. I seem to have lost my page. Advance. There we go. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Meditation and reflection I offer you today is from a poem written by St. Maria of Paris in 1942. And uh, this poem is entitled Israel. Two triangles, a star, the shield of King David, our forefather. This is election, not offense, the great path and not an evil. Once more in a term fulfilled, once more roars the trumpet of the end and the fate of a great people once more is by the prophet proclaimed. Thou art persecuted again, O Israel, but what can human malice mean to thee who have heard the thunder from Sinai? As we remember Maria of Paris, let us also remember all those who in their generations and even today have risked punishment in the face of the state for assisting in those for whom mercy is needed. Lord have mercy, 
Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for all those who have job interviews today, for those who are feeling stress in their lives because of the situation they are currently in, particularly if they are feeling peril or feeling unsafe. We pray for those who offer counsel and care to those who are under duress, as we remember St. Maria of Paris. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. We appreciate your presence. And uh, we have evening prayer coming up at 5 p.m. Please feel free to join us either on YouTube or on Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, please follow us and share with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of when we're posting content of which we do most frequently here on this channel on YouTube. For now, take care and God bless.